What's up fam? Today we are going to look at how much it costs to run a website for one year. And we're going to take a building sort of approach here and we're going to layer on new pieces of the website to provide more advanced features. And we're going to see how the cost increases. All right, let's dive in. I should also clarify, we're going to be building a WordPress website, not like a Squarespace or Wix or any of these other things. The reason why is because when you have a WordPress website, you can kind of go any direction with it. If you want to layer on e-commerce later, you could do that. Uh, if you want to do other stuff, there's you know a plethora of plugins available for you to do niche features, if that's your thing. Uh, so for now, we're just going to look at the cost of a WordPress website for one year. So the first thing we're going to need for any website is a domain. And depending on where you register your domain, at Namecheap, you can get a domain for about $14 per year, or at GoDaddy, their, their standard cost is about $20 per year. So your domain is gonna be $14 to $20 right there. The next thing you're gonna need is hosting. Website hosting comes in a huge array of pricing and all kinds of options. You've got your most basic shared hosting at a company like Bluehost, it's gonna cost you about $36 a year. And then you can go up to more premium stuff like flywheel hosting or WordPress engine. So it's some sort of like managed WordPress hosting, something that's really like built for the job. That can take you up to about $300 per year. And if you have a really huge site, you have really crazy requirements, you can spend thousands of dollars a month on hosting. But for our purposes, we're gonna look at a range of about $36 a month to $300 a month. And then of course you've got WordPress. WordPress is free, but a basic WordPress installation doesn't really do anything. You're still gonna need some other pieces to do anything worthwhile, and we'll look at that. But for now, the basic cheapest way you're gonna have a website for one year is about $50, and that's with a domain registration and super cheap hosting and a free WordPress installation, and maybe you're running a free WordPress theme on there. That cost is gonna be about $50 per year. You can't really just have a blog, right? I think we all get this. You're gonna need some other layers to have a cool website. There's also a brochure style website that exists primarily for lead generation. And you usually find this with service-based businesses. So let's say you're like gutter cleaner or something. You might have a very simple website that has like four pages. And what you're trying to do is to get people to contact you about your gutter cleaning service. That'd be a lead gen website. To me, that is the most basic form of functional website, and we'll look at the exact cost of that. So we'll look at the cost of a basic site, like just a blog, which is useless. Like I said, that's about $50 a year. And now we're gonna look at this lead gen website, and what components you might need for that. So we'll layer on the pieces to build this kind of website, and then we'll keep adding pieces to turn it into an e-commerce website. We've got our basic $50 baseline here with domain and hosting, but now we're gonna be a little more sophisticated. We're gonna run a free WordPress theme, but we're going to need an email campaign provider so that I can put an email form on my site so that I can have people join an email list so I can contact them and build a base of customers this way. I use ConvertKit, there's other ones like Constant Contact, Aweber, Campaign Monitor, there's a bunch of these email campaign providers out there, but the basic starting cost for most is about $108 per year. Of all the things we've discussed so far, this is the first business piece of the puzzle. This connects you to potential customers, to other humans. Nothing we've done prior to this really connects you with other humans, which is what enables commerce, which is what enables things to grow. So this is the first step of that process, is to get an email campaign provider and to integrate that with your WordPress website. Integrations usually come in the form of plugins. This is easy now. So when we add that on, we've got our $50 baseline plus 108. So we're now at $158 per year to run just a basic website with an email campaign provider functionality added to that. Generally though, if you find yourself running this type of website, you're gonna want a little bit more. You're gonna want more in terms of your branding, your design, the way you're able to set up your pages. Like I wanna make a landing page with my email signup form and I wanna drive traffic to this page and I want people to sign up and I want to run my business that way. When you start getting opinionated about the way you wanna run your stuff, you end up looking for premium themes that can enhance your presentation abilities. Focus is gonna be the theme that we use as the example here. Focus gives you a suite of content styling, so you can really format your content in a way that's visually appealing. So this is another tool for attention and for commerce. So you would add something like focus to your site, 
Focus is $87 per year. Focus also includes some add-ons, things you might want to use to make your website better, such as breadcrumb trails, open graph tags to make links to your site look better in social media feeds. There's also something called focus cards that will enhance your presentation. So again, we are layering on more complicated things. We're actually running a business. And when we do that, we up our standards for how we want to display things to people and how we want them to react to what's on the page, what specific actions we want them to take when they are on our pages. Once we start actually doing something with our website, we get a lot more critical about what we are doing and how we are doing it. Now we're getting serious. We've got our email campaign provider. We've got our basic stuff. We're going to add focus, but we're also going to increase our hosting costs because we've realized that our shared hosting package on Bluehost is now pretty slow. It's not as good as it could be. So we're gonna upgrade to the cheapest hosting package from Flywheel Hosting. I chose Flywheel Hosting because they have the lowest in class time to first bite. This is how quickly the server where your website lives responds to requests. Flywheel really has this on lockdown and their TTFB, time to first bite numbers are really low. So I like the entry level Flywheel Hosting package. It's $156 per year. You can raise that up from 156 to 300, depending on your needs. But the bottom line is, once we start getting a little more opinionated about this stuff, we wanna make sure our pages are as fast as possible. One way to do this is to upgrade from basic cheap hosting to something that's purpose built. So we're adding focus now. We're gonna add add-ons. I price the add-ons at $28 a year average. You're probably gonna spend more than that on year one and then nothing on years two and three. But for now, I just amortized it at $28 per year. So we've got our focus cost, $87 per year. Add-ons cost of $28 per year. And now we've bumped our hosting costs up from about $35 to now $156 per year. Now we're up to about $585 per year. Like I said, we're running that email campaign. We've got focus for our presentation and we've bumped up the hosting. But keep in mind, we are still not running any true e-commerce. We're not conducting any transactions on our site. So for a business that wants to have a brochure website and you want to do lead gen, you primarily want people to contact you through the website so you can work with them about $585 per year is going to get you a really really nice setup well now we want to keep layering on the complexity here now we're going to run an e-commerce website and a fully featured e-commerce website still needs everything that we already have so 585 is going to be our basic starting position and now we're going to layer on the e-commerce components and we still haven't mentioned things like wordpress plugins and we will do that at the end we'll go back and take another look at that and i think it might change the way you view plugins and this idea of just adding more and more to your site but now we're going to look at the e-commerce components i've priced out two popular e-commerce components one is called member press to run membership stuff on your website and there's also another one called easy digital downloads which is specifically for digital products i use easy digital downloads on DIYThemes.com. I use MemberPress on the Golden Ratio Typography Calculator. The minimum price for easy digital downloads is about $100 a year, and that scales up, and MemberPress scales up to about $400 per year. MemberPress starts at $180 per year. So easy digital downloads is $80 cheaper at $100 per year, my experience though is that most people are delivering products that are more suitable for member press than for easy digital downloads. Also, with EDD, your development costs are going to be higher. It's more difficult to work with. Member press should suffice for your needs. That's going to be $180 extra per year. If you run e commerce from your website, you're going to have people logging in to access whatever they've purchased. When you do that, you've got account features such as password recovery, account notifications. So when people set up their account, they get an email. So your site is is going to be emailing people about the actions they've taken. And once you start doing this at scale, the emails that get sent from your server will not be delivered reliably. The reason this is the case is because of something called the spam wars over the last 15 or so years. And the big inbox providers like Gmail have gotten very strict about which origin IP addresses they will allow emails to be sent from. Because of this, the email campaign providers have become completely essential. You really do need to pay for this extra layer to ensure deliverability. When your site is sending out these transactional emails, you gotta make sure they all get delivered. The way to do this is to add an SMTP plugin, and there's two that I like. One is called Mailgun, and the other one is called SendGrid. These are both third-party services. You have to go to SendGrid, you have to go to Mailgun, set up your accounts, and set all this stuff up on your server, but this ensures those password recovery emails get sent reliably from your site. It costs between $12 and $60 per year. We're just gonna call it $12 per year right now, because when you first get started, it's probably gonna be close to that $12 mark.
So we've now added on a layer of $180 plus the additional $12. So that's about $192 and we're at about $775. There is another layer we can add to an e-commerce website. If you want others to be able to sell for you and to earn a commission off of those sales, you're going to want something called an affiliate program. I run a software called Affiliate WP on my own sites to do this. It's $135 per year. So now with our low-end flywheel hosting, which is a very good option, with our domain from Namecheap, with our focus theme and the add-ons that go with it, with our email campaign provider, with our member press e-commerce solution, with our mail deliverability solution, and also with the affiliate program added in there, we are at just shy of $1,000 yearly cost for your software. Now we're getting serious. And this doesn't even mention technical integration costs that go with this to set up your e-commerce environment exactly for you. Uh, anyone who's done this is going to understand what a deep rabbit hole that can be as well. So now if we were to up our hosting even more, the full suite of the nicest flywheel hosting with all the other stuff that I've already mentioned is $1,083 per month. What is not included in that is WordPress plugins that a lot of people seem to think they need. One would be something like an SEO plugin. Examples of this are All-in-One SEO, AIO SEO, Yoast SEO, or another one called Rank Math. All these tend to be somewhat pricey. AIO SEO is $50 per year, up to $300 per year, and Yoast is $100 per year. And I'm not sure about Rank Math's cost, but it's probably comparable to those two. So you're looking at another $100 a year for an SEO helper plugin, but there's really no compelling reason to add this to your site. Most of the stuff you need for search is accomplished through technical SEO, which means the code and stuff that appears on your website. If you use the Focus WordPress theme, this stuff's all covered for you. Focus includes SEO tools so you can tweak the pertinent SEO data for your website. Title tags, meta descriptions, meta robots tags. In addition, you can add a plugin to your site called the XML Sitemaps plugin. This thing is great for working with tools like Google Search Console or Bing Webmaster Tools to submit the pages of your site that you actually want indexed in search engines. So Focus plus the XML Sitemaps plugin, you're fully covered for your SEO needs. So at that point, you kind of become prejudiced about what you're going to add to your site. I'm already spending $1,000 a year. Do I really want to spend another $100 a year or whatever it is? The answer probably going to be no. And let's explore a little more. I run an e-commerce website. I have easy digital downloads. I have the affiliate program. I'm running email deliverability helpers. I've got really nice hosting. I run all the focus add-ons, but I also run forums. These forums are a really great value add for me and it costs me about $77 a year. So another $77, we're now at $1,150 per year to run a WordPress website that enables you to participate in commerce, lead generation, and all the marketing stuff that you see people talk about online and socials. This is the suite of tools you need Need, this is about what it's going to cost you per year. Depending on your needs, about $585 a year, all the way up to $1,150 per year or more. Of course, some of those costs have other hidden costs beneath them, integration costs, and maybe even procedural costs. Like if you add this to your website, this is now another step in your process flow. Your VAs need to know about this. So we always have to keep those things in mind when we add complexity to our sites. Like what else is this adding besides the obvious cost that's slapping us in the face? But there it is. That's a fair amount of separate components. Domain, hosting, theme, add-ons, e-commerce, e-commerce add-ons. They didn't even really go over that. SMTP solution, email campaign provider, affiliate program, forums. That's 10 things. That is a lot to deal with, but that's the absolute state of running an e-commerce WordPress website. This is what you're going to need. These are the costs you can anticipate. And now you've got a kind of a roadmap for how to put this thing together and a way to manage your expectations as you build your website. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.